Hi everyone, today in this video I'm gonna show you my code to do uh, the most accurate and the best way of color based image segmentation on MATLAB. <laughs> Okay, so uh, image segmentation is, is one of the most important uh, fields um, in computer vision and in machine learning in general. So in a lot of ways, you always see yourself in a lot of um, uh, algorithms, a lot of applications. Um, you see that you deal with an image and you want to segment out a part of this image. You want to understand the image so you always uh, get to segmentation as a brief step before understanding this image. So either you want to extract a part of your image or you want to do maybe an OCR. So you extract numbers and letters inside an image. Uh, maybe you want to, de to detect light inside of an image um, to separate uh, the foreground from the background. So a lot of, a lot of application you see yourself always need to do segmentation. So one of the most uh, important types of image segmentation is the color-based image segmentation. Now, uh, there is a lot of uh, types of image segmentation, like features-based, uh, contour-based, edges-based segmentation. So a lot of a lot of um, of ways, and I have actually some videos in my channel talking about other ways of segmentation. However, the color-based is the one which is most commonly used. And um, sometimes it is the best choice given your application, okay? So now, as uh, I always do in my videos, in my channel, I always try to give you guys new ideas. I always try to make something different from whatever is on the web. You can find on the web, on the internet, you can find uh, a lot of videos, you can find a lot of code. However, I always try to make it better, more accurate, and to add more ideas for you guys uh, to understand through my code. So uh, now this this is a key means the clustering image segmentation, color based image segmentation. So uh, it is uh, uh, basically the main idea is not new. So you use k means algorithm. And of course, if you are here to this video, I guess you already know what is k means. If you don't, pause the video, go to Google, write k means clustering algorithm and to try to understand it uh, better and then come back because uh, you need to know what is k means but anyway so k means is a clustering method is it is an iterative clustering method where you put uh, a, a certain k number you know you set a k number of of of, of uh, cluster centers and you keep uh, uh, iterate uh, in an iterative way you keep uh, uh, moving the cluster until you get to a point which is separate the points the most now, what I do through this code is, <clears throat> uh, I also found that actually this k means the color clustering is only introduced in MATLAB in version 2018b, which is like the 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 of course is the the most updated or the newest kind of or the newest version of MATLAB, which is sometimes uh, not that good if you wanted to apply it in an old version. So even even in my version, which is 2018a, which is just the, the one before the last version, I don't have the built-in k-means image segmentation. Um, and by the way, the one which is built-in is also not that accurate. So anyway, this code also will help the, uh, anyone who does not have the most updated MATLAB version and want to do k-means color-based uh, segmentation also. Okay. So the main idea is that you, you have for any image, you have three channels, RGMB, the red, green, and blue, and you want to uh, transform this space of RGB into a space of um, uh, uh, an N by three, which is a number of points, number of examples of three in, in three dimensions, uh, or three features, if you want to talk about uh, data. And then you do the normal K means clustering algorithm, and then you get back uh, clusters. Now, to do this with image is tricky. Also, um, uh, the way you do the key means, how much you should repeat it, and um, the, the best method, uh, and how to get to, to the best um, clustering uh, the fastest way. All this is dealt with in this code. So in this code, 
you have the best way, the most accurate k-means clustering algorithm that can work with an image. Now, not only that, also I added in this code the ability to cluster uh, an ROI inside your image. ROI stands for region of interest. So you don't want to cluster the whole image, but let's say that you wanted to cluster a certain bounding box inside your image, and that's it. Uh, uh, this code makes you able to do that. The final thing also that this code does, which you will not find on the web, that the, the addition to it, is that it gives you the, the, the color itself. It gives you the RGB values of your cluster centers or the, 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 uh, the average color of this whole cluster. So let's say that this is a green cluster, it's a blue cluster, so you can actually know what is the color of this cluster? Let's say that you're looking for a blue uh, object. So if you only do clusters and you don't know the cl colors of them, then the cluster is no use of, uh, for you. So you need to know the color. Okay, so let's run the code and see how it works. Um, and then uh, we start doing this. So here, here you have the number of clusters. You can go here from one to, and of course, whatever, 3,000 if you want and you have the, the time for it. But anyway, we don't go more than three or four um, uh, clusters. And of course, no meaning of doing one cluster. Of course, you do the minimum is two clusters. So the only um, variable here in the code is k, which is the number of clusters um, that you should do. And I'm going to show you that also this code, you will know when you do a, a, a number of too much of clusters when you do over clustering over clustering means that k is too is too big so you are basically doing uh, a lot of clustering i will show you that you can uh, understand uh, this through this code and you can know the, the 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 best number for k okay so let's start with k equal to so only two i will do two clustering and i will run the code so at, at the beginning when you run the code you have two options. So choose the region of analysis. Either you choose all the image, which means that you do a normal classic clustering of the whole image pixels, or you say bounding box. For now, let's say all image. And then let's take this image, for example. OK, and, and, and here you see. So here you see the original image. And you will see the color of the first cluster, which is, which is basically yellow, and the second cluster, which is the green. Now, you will see that there is a blue region here or a dark blue region here that is, is, is not clustered. This is because this is uh, the number of clusters are too low. Okay, this is too low because only two. So the blue has to go to one of the two clusters. So uh, to, do, to, to fix this, we can say, okay, let's make it three and run the code again and run the same example, again, old image and run the same example and you would see that it is, be, oh, here you see, you have, have one more cluster, which is blue. That's very good. So now you know that you have the right number of clusters, right? You can see that the missing color now appears. Let's say we want to know which color is which. This uh, image is what is known as a labeled image, which means that the value is either one, two, three. You have one, two, three as a values inside your matrix. So if you say the matrix equal equal one, you get only the first cluster. Actually, when you take a data point, you can see the index, which is one. So cluster one, the yellow is this one. And you have cluster three, which is the green. That's correct. That's the background. And you can see that this is cluster two, which is the blue, which is perfectly correct. So uh, it looks very good. OK, now let's try another example. OK, let's try another example. Uh, uh, but before we try another example, I want to show you what if we say seven clusters. That that is that will take, of course, some time longer. But anyway, what I want to show you guys is that it's gonna show us clusters which is uh, is repeated. So um, okay, so here you can see that it has a, a repeated color. So you have basically blue. Uh, you have uh, yellow and dark yellow and a little bit, you know, little dark yellow. So it is like three which are basically yellow. So you have two greens and you have a little brown and you have a blue. So basically this means that you have over clustered your image. You have repeated colors. So this way you can know the optimum number of clusters. You don't have this 
when you deal with other kinds of image segmentation uh, codes. So let's get back and uh, okay, so let's make it two clusters again um, and make it like all image. And here you have another example just to show another example. And you can see here you go, here you go, you have uh, uh, like two basic colors, okay, and you have the segmentation. Okay, that's good. Now, how about you have an image which is uh, which has uh, a lot of details and you wanted to segment just the part of the image, not the whole image. Let's say that you wanted to segment the ROI or the region of interest are with using a bounding box and you don't want to, 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 to segment the other. Okay, that is something that is common and I'm gonna tell you when you would need this. But uh, so let's for example, see this image. Okay, let, uh, now we're gonna choose bounding box and you're gonna choose this image, just a complex image. That's an image with a lot of clusters, but you want to, to cluster only a certain part. Now in other code, you don't have this and you, you need to segment out the part of interest before you do the segmentation. Here, you see that you have this cursor and you can select just a part. So we're gonna select only this part and that's it. And you're gonna leave it. And you're gonna see that you have two colors, okay, inside this part. So everything outside our region of interest is gonna be indexed at zero. So it's gonna have the value zero. Remember, you don't have cluster zero. Zero means that it is not of, a, of, of interest. You start clusters, clustering from cluster one and cluster two. So zero means it is, it is totally black. It is not of interest. And the only the region of interest, okay, is, uh, is here. So you can see uh, index one, okay, and, and index two. So also this you can see can use, be used for OCR. You can read the sign okay um, uh, using OCR you detect the, 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 uh, the you know the word uh, and read out the, the letters I have actually some codes on my channel if you want to, to check it out to do OCR okay so let's do it again and let's see another application or another way to make to make this of use let's uh, let's make another bounding box but around the traffic light okay so we're gonna take a bounding box around the traffic light and here you go only the traffic light segmented and it is two one which is basically black and one which is uh, like you know pale red or something like that so you can see the two clusters here you can use this to know the uh, to read the traffic light you use this in some kind of autopilot machine if you want to do it into some computer vision computer vision aided uh, driving auto driving you would use this this uh, uh, method to only segment the part of the traffic light and you can see the position of the light so from the position of the light you know you should stop or you should get ready or go so it is it is really helpful in this so you, you see that there is a lot of applications you can take any part and only segment this part that's very good so also this in the coding is very simple you would see that inside the inside the the function itself this is this is the main function used outside the function itself you have something called the mask which has the roi which is zero outside of your roi and one inside your ROI. so this mask is now in this code i put the mask or i, I or i define the region of interest or the bounding box using the cursor right using my mouse but just to show you the idea but you can use a function in a way that this mask comes from another machine learning algorithm right something like uh, RCNN, something like I have a, I have a, a video on my channel, check it out, for uh, turning any normal like Google Net CNN into an RCNN using C uh, heat map. So you can have a bounding box automatically using a CNN around the region of interest, let's say the traffic light. Then using this code and applying this mask to this function now, you can only segment directly on the spot, on the image, you segment to only this part, so you read the position of the traffic light, you read the, the, the license plate of, of, uh, of a car, and, and so on. So you see that this is a very nice way to cluster images on the spot uh, without another middle step of segmentation. You just do segmentation to the region of entry. So I guess that's it for this video guys, you will find everything about this code in the description, you will find it is fully commented, so um, everything is clear in it. Thank you very much, please like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching.